The most distant galaxy in the universe, the one that is the furthest away from us that we currently know about. This telescope wasn't built just to look, but to confront the unknown. When the James Webb Space Telescope launched into the silence of space, few imagined how fast it would start rewriting our place in the cosmos. These are amazing images that we've never seen before. These images convey all the different kinds of things that we are hoping to explore with this observatory. For centuries, we've relied on light to trace our origins. But now, with eyes that see the invisible, Webb is reaching further than theory ever dared. It's not confirming what we expected. It's shattering it. Galaxies are showing up too soon. Light is leaking from an era we call dark. And reality, as we understood it, is no longer holding still. A universe out of order. Every timeline we've trusted told us the same story. Galaxies are slow to grow, scattered, and primitive in the early universe. But Webb is pulling back the curtain, and what's behind it doesn't fit. One of its first deep looks revealed a galaxy that shouldn't exist. It was not faint or incomplete, but brilliant, structured, and massive. The kind of object we expect to see a billion years into cosmic evolution, not 400 million. Scientists named it, cataloged it, but they couldn't explain it. How did something this developed appear so early, when the universe was barely awake? It wasn't alone. More ancient giants followed compact glowing islands of stars and dust where only drifting hydrogen should have been. These galaxies had weight, they had shape, and they had no business existing when they did. What Webb uncovered wasn't just an object, it was a warning. Our models, equations, and predictions might be missing something big. Either galaxies found a way to evolve far faster than physics allows, or there's an entire chapter of the universe's story we've never read. Webb isn't just a telescope, it's a time machine, telling us the past isn't what we thought. The light that wasn't supposed to be there. The early universe was described as a vast, lightless sea for decades. After the Big Bang, it took hundreds of millions of years for the first stars to ignite. Until then, everything was dark, truly dark, or so we believed. But now Webb has started to pick up something faint, something ancient a glow drifting from a time before stars existed. This isn't starlight, it's something else, something gentler, stranger, and more profound. Scientists think it may result from cold hydrogen clouds stirring under gravity, colliding just enough to release a whisper of infrared light, a cosmic heartbeat before the first star was born. There's also another idea. Those small black holes, primordial ones, could have already formed and begun pulling in matter, radiating tiny pulses as they fed in the shadows. Either way, the message is the same. The Dark Ages weren't fully dark. This subtle light reaching Webb's mirrors may be our first real clue that the early universe was not a cold pause, but a quiet beginning. And if that's true, we've underestimated the complexity of our origins. We thought the universe waited to switch on. Webb is showing us it may have been flickering from the very start. Shadows with no source. Before Webb, astronomers caught hints of something they couldn't explain. A faint glow stretching across the sky, not from any galaxy, star, or known radiation. It wasn't the cosmic microwave background, which had already been mapped. This was something else, something softer, more elusive, like the echo of a light never meant to be seen. Years passed, instruments improved, and the glow stayed. Space telescopes like Spitzer confirmed it, but the origin remained a mystery. No one could figure out what was lighting up the void. With Webb's infrared vision, we're closer to an answer. It's revealing that this mysterious background may come from dense clouds of hydrogen and helium, collapsing under gravity but not yet stars. Though not undergoing fusion, these clouds could be heating up through friction, turbulence, or molecular shifts, emitting low-level radiation that is invisible until now. Even more staggering is the idea that some of this glow might trace back to black holes, not the monsters at the center of galaxies, but tiny ancient seeds formed after the Big Bang. If these primordial black holes were real, they might have been quietly feeding in the darkness, emitting soft waves of energy that now ripple into Webb's lens. Light, it seems, can come from the most unexpected places. When the darkness wasn't silent, the era known as the Cosmic Dark Ages was supposed to be a quiet chapter. Hydrogen filled the universe, light was absent, 
and time moved slowly as gravity worked in the background. For decades, scientists described it like a waiting room, a necessary pause before stars and galaxies took the stage. But Webb's findings are shifting that narrative. What we're now seeing is not silence, but soft movement. Gentle radiation, a kind of breath in the dark. Hydrogen may have begun to stir, ripple, and collide in those early moments. These weren't explosive events, but delicate ones. Still, they were enough. Enough to generate a trace, a glow, a sign that the universe wasn't waiting. It was already changing. There's also evidence suggesting that the Dark Ages may have ended unevenly. Instead of a grand, sweeping ignition of stars across the cosmos, smaller regions may have sparked independently, forming bright bubbles that punched holes in the surrounding fog. These were likely the earliest star-forming nurseries, tiny but fierce. This challenges the idea of a clean division between darkness and light. Instead, the Dark Ages were likely a blur, a twilight era where shadows and light coexisted. With Webb, we're not just rewriting the timeline, we're discovering that the silence of space was never truly silent. Ancient giants that break the rules. When Webb peered deep into the cosmos, Every image is a new discovery, and each will give humanity a view of the universe that we've never seen before. It didn't just see one strange galaxy. It saw several, some with names like Glass Z12 and Sears 93316, designations that sound clinical but represent something astonishing. Massive, structured galaxies that existed when the universe was still in cosmic diapers. These weren't the small, clumpy collections of gas that scientists expected. They were enormous, brimming with stars, layered in complexity, and eerily mature for their age. Their mere presence created a stir. Because according to every existing model, they shouldn't have had time to form. Creating a galaxy isn't quick. It takes hundreds of millions of years for gas to collapse, form stars, merge with others, and evolve into something recognizable. But Webb saw all this in galaxies less than 300 million years after the Big Bang. Even more confounding is what these galaxies contain, heavy elements. This kind is created in massive stars and dispersed through supernovae. For that to happen, multiple generations of stars must have lived and died already, suggesting these galaxies went through a full evolutionary cycle in record time. It's as if the early universe hit fast forward or as if something happened that we don't understand at all. What we're left with are not just questions, but deep discomfort in our assumptions. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Ghost Light of Lyman Alpha In the early universe, ultraviolet light had a signature, a sharp, specific fingerprint called Lyman Alpha. When hot young stars excited hydrogen gas, it lit up with this distinct signal. Scientists use it like a beacon to trace where stars form and how galaxies evolve. But during the era right after the Dark Ages, the universe was still filled with thick clouds of neutral hydrogen. Theoretically, this gas should have absorbed Lyman alpha radiation, making it impossible to detect. So naturally, astronomers didn't expect to see it until Webb did. What it captured was clear Lyman alpha emissions coming from galaxies that were too early too deep and too impossible to explain. How did this light escape the cosmic fog? One possibility is that early galaxies were chaotic and violent, undergoing rapid starbursts and smashing into one another. These galactic collisions could have carved out bubbles of ionized space around them, allowing radiation to burst like flares in the dark. Another theory, maybe the universe cleared faster than we thought. Or maybe our models of how hydrogen absorbs light in the early cosmos need rewriting. Whatever the cause, this light isn't supposed to be here. And yet, it is, glowing like a ghost from the beginning of time. The black hole that arrived too soon. One of the most startling images captured by Webb wasn't of a galaxy or a cluster of stars, but of a black hole. Not just any black hole, a supermassive one, sitting at the heart of a galaxy that existed less than 500 million years after the Big Bang. That alone should be impossible. Black holes, at least as we understand them, grow slowly. A massive star collapses. The black hole left behind feeds, accumulates, and merges with others. Over billions of years, 
They became giants, but this one already had a mass of over a billion suns, just a few hundred million years after time began. How? One radical theory gaining ground is called direct collapse. Instead of stars forming first, massive clouds of gas might have skipped the star stage entirely, collapsing straight into black holes. If that happened often in the early universe, it could explain how some black holes quickly became enormous. There's also talk of super-Eddington accretion, feeding rates that break our current physical limits. That's like a baby growing into a full-grown adult in a matter of weeks. Or maybe, just maybe, these weren't born after the Big Bang at all. Some scientists are quietly revisiting the idea of primordial black holes that formed in the chaos of creation itself. Seeds from before anything else existed. Rethinking the Cosmic Clock What if the universe is older than we think? Webb's findings have reopened this uncomfortable possibility. The standard model tells us the universe is 13.8 billion years old. That number is based on the expansion rate of space and the residual light from the Big Bang. But if galaxies had already fully formed less than 300 million years ago, the math wouldn't have quite held. It's not just about age, it's about speed. Galaxies shouldn't have had enough time to collect gas, form stars, and evolve into what we now see. So maybe our clocks are off. One possibility is that the rate at which the universe expanded, the Hubble constant, is wrong. Even before Webb, astronomers had already seen tension between different ways of measuring it. Webb's data only deepens the divide. Another idea. Maybe something in the early universe accelerated evolution. A burst of unknown energy. A temporary shift in gravity. An exotic interaction between dark matter and normal matter. If so, the early cosmos was a different place than we imagined. The numbers we use to track the age of everything might need adjusting, or more radically, we may need a new understanding of time itself. Whatever happened back then didn't follow the schedule we expected. Did the Big Bang miss a chapter? Our origin story is clean, elegant, too clean maybe. The Big Bang, expansion, cooling, darkness, then gradually light, stars, galaxies, us. But Webb's discoveries are poking holes in that story, not just with one anomaly, but with many. Mature galaxies that shouldn't exist yet, supermassive black holes are born too fast. Light where there should be shadow. It's beginning to feel like we're missing a chapter from the universe's beginning. Some scientists now wonder if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning. What if there was something before? A pre-Bang universe? A cycle of expansions and contractions? The idea isn't new. Theoretical models like loop quantum cosmology or the ekparotic universe suggest the cosmos might be eternal, collapsing, bouncing, or re-expanding. Webb doesn't prove this, not yet, but it gives weight to the possibility. Because the more we see, the less the current script makes sense. Maybe the Big Bang was just a transition, not a birth, but a rebirth. A moment in a longer story we haven't finished reading. Webb may be the first instrument powerful enough to glimpse echoes from before our beginning. But the James Webb Telescope has identified galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. It's no longer just about what happened after the Big Bang. It's about whether that event was the true beginning or just a page in an older book. The future of cosmology starts now. Webb is just getting started. We're only in the opening chapters of what it might reveal. Already, it's given us a cosmos that's brighter, older, and more complex than we imagined. But it's not alone. New instruments are coming, such as the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, the extremely large telescope in Chile, and others that will complement Webb's vision with even more precision. Together, they'll confirm, refine, or even overturn the shocking data we're seeing now. This isn't just about correcting details, it's about rethinking fundamentals. What is dark matter? How did the structure form? Are our laws of gravity complete? Webb has brought us to the edge of what we know and is asking us to look past it. There is a battle between observation and theory. Some eye in the coming year's dias will fall. New ones will rise. And through it all, Webb will be watching the ancient sky, pulling light from the edge of time. Astronomy will never be the same. The textbooks we grew up with they're already outdated. The future of cosmology won't just be about stars and galaxies. 
It will be about rewriting reality itself. We're not just exploring space, we're rediscovering the universe. A universe more chaotic than calm. One of the quiet assumptions in cosmology was that the early universe evolved steadily, slowly. The first stars flickered into existence like timid candles in the dark. But Webb's discoveries suggest something far more chaotic, a storm, not a whisper. James Webb Telescope has finally confirmed that our understanding of the universe was completely wrong. Instead of calm, we see collisions. Early galaxies aren't just forming, they're smashing into each other, triggering bursts of star formation at rates we didn't expect for another billion years. These aren't rare outliers either. Webb shows that galactic mergers, turbulence, and violent interactions were likely the norm, not the universe's youth. This, not the exception, has deep implications. Star formation fueled by such chaos could explain how galaxies matured so quickly. It could also mean that the cosmic web, the vast network of filaments that connects galaxies, formed earlier than predicted, sculpted by intense gravitational forces. This isn't the end of the story. It's the beginning of a new one, written not in ink, but in infrared. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us more than images. It's given us questions, big ones, the kind that shakes the ground beneath science itself. Every photon it captures is a whisper from a deeper past, and every frame it sends back changes how we see everything, from galaxies to gravity to time. The universe has never been more alive with mystery, so stay curious. Because whatever you thought the cosmos was, it's stranger, older, and more brilliant than we dared to dream.